Hi guys, in this video we're going to be learning to calculate a percentage off of a whole number. Now, the way we've spelt off there is quite important. So far, you've been learning to calculate percentages of a number. Today, you're learning to calculate percentages off a number. These two are not the same as each other. They are very different concepts. When we take a percentage off a number, that means we are taking that percent away from the original. Now, this is the way percentages are most commonly used when it comes to money. So if you look in the shops, often you'll see things like 25% off, 50% off. That means that they have taken 25% or 50% away from the original price. So in this example, we're being asked to work out 25% off of 28. So if we imagine this 100 square as being equivalent to 28 pounds, what I'm basically doing is I'm taking 25% of that and I'm taking it away so I've taken 25% off leaving the rest of it so leaving 75% so I will still have to pay 75% but I've taken away 25% so that's what happens when we take something off when we take a percentage off of a number so here we have 25% off of 28 here. So what I'm really being asked there is 28 take away 25% of 28. Now we should know already that 25% is just the same as a quarter. But if we didn't know that we could use the same old strategy as before writing it out as 25 over 100 and then simplifying that but because by this stage we should be fairly comfortable with that i'm just going to write it as a quarter straight away so it's 28 minus a quarter of 28 so that's what we're really being asked we're being asked to take away 25 percent take away a quarter of 28 so writing out the sum again 28 minus what is a quarter of 28? Well, it's 7. So our final sum then is just 28 minus 7. And so our answer is 21. If I get 25% off of 28, I'm left with 21. In this example, we're being asked to work out 10% off of 90. So that is 90 take away 10% of 90. So if we imagine that this entire shape is worth 90, I am taking away 10% of it. It will still leave me with 90% to pay, but I'm getting that 10% off of it. So, 90% take away 10% of 90. Well, 10% of 90 is just a tenth of 90, which is going to be 9. So what the sum is really asking me to do is 90 take away 9. That's easy enough. 81. So 10% off of 90 is 81. One final example then. 75% off of 32. So I've got 32 and I'm taking away a full 75% of 32. That is a massive chunk. So if this whole thing here is worth 32. I am getting rid of all of this here and all of this 
here, leaving me with only this white section left. So if I was getting a 75% discount, I would be pretty happy with that because I've got only 25% of it that I have to pay. So what is 75% though? Well, I could write it out as 75 hundredths and then simplify it, but in essence, it's just three quarters. So three quarters of 32. Now this is going to take one or two extra stages to solve, but still not much. What I'm going to have to do is divide 32 by 4. So 32 divided by 4. And then times my answer by 3. Because it's 3 quarters. So our sum here, 32 divided by 4 is 8. Times 3. What I'm really getting is 32 minus 24. So I'm getting a full 24 pounds. If this was pounds, I'd be getting a full 24 pounds off of this 32. Which would leave only 8. So 75% off of 32 gives just 8 remaining. So we can see here our strategy is basically to take our original number and then remove whatever the percentage is. And all the same strategies for working out the percentage of a whole number still apply. But we just have to take it away from the original. Cheers guys!